I'm Dave Asprey, founder of the Bulletproof Executive, and today we have the world's first hands-on biohacking conference, where we're actually bringing people together, uh, about 85 of them actually, in order to experience what happens when you combine the idea of getting data off the body and then feeding it back to the body very quickly to upgrade the nervous system, to literally make your nervous system function better than it did in two days. Then we have a full day of lectures and hands-on demos from companies who have unreleased devices, things that teach your brain to consciously control your nervous system. One device here with no drugs or medication or anything else dramatically lowers blood pressure. And it does it by looking at your heart rate and teaching you to squeeze a little device at a certain time. We have another device that can look at your brain or your heart or your muscle activity and show it on your iPad in real time. And when that's released to the market, it'll cost about 50 bucks. So these are technologies you're gonna see in five years in consumer devices, but we're getting early access. And the people who are doing the two-day portion of this, the hands-on workshop, we're literally running high current electricity through their nerves at 500 times a second. And what happens when you do that is that your brain thinks you did 500 curls, even though you just did one. And Jay is a professional sports trainer, Jay Schroeder. So what he's doing is he's teaching the attendees to move perfectly. So if you do one perfect squat, let's say, you know, basic exercise, but you do it with the electricity in the body, you actually learn neurologically how to move better. So your back will stop hurting. So you'll actually be able to stand with a better posture, things like that. So it's a pretty profound experience and one that pushes your nervous system in ways it hasn't been pushed, so it will adapt. And fortunately, our nervous system adapts at least as fast as our muscles, which is one of the reasons you can upgrade your brain, you can upgrade your, the way you move, upgrade your body. And that's what the Bulletproof Executive, the whole blog is really about. It, there's lots of health and wellness stuff out there, but literally, I am a computer security senior executive, and I have been for a long time, so we're taking the techniques a hacker would use to break into a company or to disassemble a system, and we're taking those and turning them back on the human body. And that even goes to changing the environment around you to affect how you behave. We're going to have several more Bulletproof conferences. I'm working on one in Australia. Um, Australians love biohacking. Uh, I was in Men's Health there, and I've been out there a couple times. So we'll do something there, and we'll do one in New York. And I would love it if people went to bulletproofconference.com. We have a survey there. If you want one in your neighborhood, tell me so I can prioritize and list. I'd love to have at least three more this year. They might not all be exactly this format. We might mix and match the, the type of speakers we have and the type of training, but I don't want to have the conferences that are just you know, lectures. We can do those with video and save our listeners, people who go to the blog, a lot of time and money that way. What we can do that's particularly impactful at these conferences is actually give you the sort of experience that would normally cost an enormous amount of money. For instance, to train a pro athlete, you know, if you wanted to hire Jay to work with you, you're going to be spending potentially like $50,000. So this is a way for people to experience a level of training performance they've probably never experienced in their life and to do it at a cost-effective way and to see what their body's capable of. And from there, sort of the gloves come off because you go home and you realize the true potential and you felt that bulletproof feeling that we talked about on the blog. Once you get that, even for a day, your expectations for how you feel every day go from here, which is where most people are, because that's how they always feel, to here, because you know you can feel that good without drugs or anything else. And all of a sudden, when this is your new level, like, I'm not at that level today, why? And that's the essence of biohacking. And maybe I'm not at that level because I ate the wrong food, because you know my chocolate wasn't like Bulletproof upgraded chocolate, which is no toxins in it. It's funny. You eat the wrong chocolate or you drink the wrong coffee, it will affect your cognitive performance. In fact, I'm about to release a study, potentially at the conference if, uh, if I can get uh, the full data set together. This is an institutional review board approved study of what upgraded coffee does to your cognitive performance versus mainstream coffee. And the difference is overwhelming. Like there is no question from the data that there's a cognitive difference from the quality of what you put into your body.